Two action cams, released the same day, almost at the same time. A bit confusing, isn't it? So what's the difference? This isn't a proper test. I took him for a spin. But only by looking at the mounting options, you can see that when you want to test the stabilization, for example, this one wobbles more than this one. So this is a challenge. And there are many more. So this video is just a comparison of the features. For example, the mounting options. You can mount DJI Action 3 horizontally and vertically after putting it in a case. The case comes with a camera. GoPro has a different approach when it comes to different formats. It is an almost square 8x7 sensor, so you record once and then decide on the format afterwards. It seems easier and harder at the same time. Easier, because you shoot only once, harder because of the framing. You have to kind of imagine how the video is gonna look like after you crop it. Video resolution, DJI Action 3 shoots up to 4K 120, GoPro Hero 11 Black up to 5.3K 60. It also shoots 4K 120, of course. Colors, 8-bit versus 10-bit. And uh, there's a great video from 2018 on b &H photo video channel and let me steal a couple of seconds of it. You can have 256 shades of red, blue, or green in an 8-bit image, but with 10-bit video, you can have 1,024 shades. DJI promises that it will deliver 10-bit to its camera after two months via a software update, so maybe there's gonna be 10-bit here and 10-bit here, but for now it's 10-bit versus 8. The front touch screen on the DJI. It's not a deal breaker, but after playing with these cameras for a couple of days, I was like, why isn't this a touch screen on the GoPro? Believe me or not, this is a microphone, a windproof microphone. The camera has two more microphones in the front. Here's one, here's the other one. And it should improve the sound quality and windy conditions. So let me turn the windy conditions on. This is me talking to the Action 3 with the windproof microphone at the bottom. And this is me talking to the GoPro with no windproof microphone at the bottom. Stabilization. GoPro introduced HyperSmooth 5, which is said to be even smoother than HyperSmooth 4 and can be auto-boosted when needed. And there is a horizon lock. Actually, the same feature is in both cameras. You can turn them around and the image doesn't turn. It's weird. DJI calls it Horizon Steady and it's available from 2.7K 60. You can use it, the Horizon Lock, on the GoPro from 5.3 60. Which stabilization is better is yet to be determined. Is it Rock Steady from DJI? Or Hyper Smooth 5 from GoPro? And this is 4K 120. And some slow motion footage, just for fun. You can dive up to 10 meters with this one, without a case. You can dive up to 16 meters with this one, without a case. Battery life. It seems like the GoPro is draining the battery a bit faster, but this is just my observation. Definitely not a decent test. There is a hydrophobic layer both on the GoPro lens and on Action 3 lens. And I don't know if you can see the difference. It's, it works, but not like a charm. 
Accessories. There are so many accessories for the GoPro and all the accessories from GoPro 10 fit GoPro 11 because uh, these are the same cameras from the outside. As far as DJI Action 3 is concerned, there is the adventure combo and you get this battery charging case with it, which can also work as a power bank for your smartphone. It's probably meant to be used in emergency situations, but uh, it's quite fast. Quite fast for a charging case for action cam batteries. GoPro 11 Black comes with the uh, Enduro battery, which you had to buy separately for GoPro 10 and GoPro 9. But that also means that batteries from 9 and 10 fit the 11 Black. And I guess that's it. Do you have any questions? If you do, the comment section is waiting for you. And as a reminder, I'm talking to you from Warsaw, Poland. So the weather is different than in California. I mean, it's wait, this is the weather. It's basically gray here most of the time now. So if you want to know how these action cams behave in a less sunny uh, scenarios, I might provide you with some footage. If not, let's forget about these for another year. Thanks for today. Have a bearable one and I hope to see you soon.